Welcome back to the 2018 AT&T Business Summit in Dallas. I'm Des Blanchfield and I have the pleasure of being joined by Maria Lenzing, the Vice President of Global Healthcare Solutions at AT&T Business. Thanks for joining Maria. Thank you, Les, for having me. Now, healthcare and AT&T, they don't seem like natural bedfellows, but they, they, they probably are a really great fit. Could you just give us some insight into kind of what that combination is and, and where the healthcare practice fits into AT&T Business? Absolutely, and thank you for asking because I know that you guys probably don't think AT&T when you think healthcare, but in reality, we've been providing connectivity solutions for a long time, mm -hmm. right? And we continue to evolve and invest in those. So 5G, FirstNet, these are elements that are AT&T's contribution to improving the type of connectivity we provide. Right. But on top of that is the data analytics piece. What exactly is traversing this network, keeping it secure? Around that innovation, there is so much innovation in this space. We're connecting all these third party medical device mm -hmm. manufacturers and all of that in an application ecosystem that is transforming the way that healthcare provides patient outcomes. Now, there are a couple of big uh, themes that we've seen uh, through the last couple of days here uh, IoT, cybersecurity, uh, 5G. I'd love to touch on those if we can. Let's maybe start with IoT. IoT seems to be a natural space for us to leverage with smart sensors, smart devices, gathering real time data, doing real time analytics in healthcare. Tell us what's happening in that space in your world. IoT is a perfect space for healthcare. Uh, we are growing, more and more things are connected. I don't know if you're at home, but if you notice maybe your fridge is now sending a signal telling you that there is there. Well, in healthcare space, mm -hmm. it's similar. Many medical device manufacturers are now including connectivity into their devices. Why? Because the chips are smaller, they're cheaper, the service is cheaper. So mm -hmm. we need to be able to, as a healthcare owner, provide connectivity control. You need to know what's in your environment. Right. You need to be able to get data from it. We provide all those solutions. That innovation, we can then expand it and bring solutions that we haven't done in the marketplace before. An example of that is an announcement we had recently on Softbox. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what that is, it's some medicine, sometimes needs to be refrigerated. Right. And we are able to provide a specific uh, container that has the refrigeration live. Moreover, we're able to use other technology like drones to be able to deploy it and take it to where it's needed. Wow. That's healthcare and that's changing how we provide healthcare. That's pretty exciting space. Now, IoT is great. When we think about IoT though, um, and, and in the context of the themes that we're hearing about here, um, cybersecurity. You know, when people talk about their health records, their health data, hospital infrastructure, the telco infrastructure, infrastructure sorry, supporting that. Um, cybersecurity, I mean, at and has recently acquired Alien Vault, so that I guess is a, is a big plus for you. Um, where does cybersecurity impact your world in healthcare? Now, in the healthcare space, having so many patient medical records that are rich in information like social security numbers, mm -hmm. your credit card information, and more importantly, your medical record information, cybersecurity is top of mind. According to a study, in 2017, we had 477 breaches in the healthcare space. Wow. That was over 5.6 million records, healthcare records that were impacted. So we take security mm. very seriously, so do you. And as a consumer, so do we. Yes, AT&T's investment in Alien Vault is another example of us doubling down in our commitment to our customers that our solutions are secure. And, and, and that's a very good point you raised there, because at the end of the day, we are also customers. Uh, the, the solutions you're building, at the end of the day, everybody is a customer of these things. 5G is a massive theme for this event. You know, edge-to-edge uh, -edge networking, uh, edge computing, and, and what 5G is going to mean, the transformation of 5G, that must be another massive boon for you to be able to leverage these technologies of high speed, through high throughput, low latency, intelligent devices. What does 5G mean to you in healthcare? Listen, 5G is an exciting time in healthcare. Why? Well, because Think of the augmented reality in the new right. operating space or even in the way we teach our medical students to be able to look at the possibility of how to do surgery in an augmented environment. Maybe even think of uh, neurosurgeons. We were having this discussion with a couple of customers last night where the neurosurgeon is having to come, kind of penetrates the tissue, looks back, is looking at MRI, CAT scans, and then it's looking back. Well, now with augmented reality, we can put it right on top of where he's looking. Right. So he is visualizing literally where he's going and where things are heading. So yeah. we're revolutionizing the way that you can practice medicine through 5G connectivity. 
Wow. Well, I guess the uh, recent uh, Pokemon uh, augmented reality game probably trained the next uh, generation of surgeons for us in many ways. Well, thank you so much for spending time on camera with me. It's been great to get to know you and learn a little bit about what you're doing with the global healthcare practice and, and what's happening in the world of IoT, cybersecurity, and uh, also 5G in, in what ATT business is doing. And uh, we'll look forward to what's happening on the floor with your uh, stand and some of the live damage you're just referring yes, to. Yes, please come see it. We have a whole HoloLens that shows you the operating room of the future with augmented reality. So thank you, Des, for making time for me. And if you're around in the summit, come see us. You'll, you'll be impressed. Really appreciate it. Well, thanks again for your time. And folks, with that, we'll wrap up. If you are here, please do drop in on the pavilion and have a look. Uh, otherwise, we'll catch you in the next video. We appreciate your time. Thanks for tuning in.